Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. For me, I realize that there are people still coming into Flat Earth that have basically missed the debate, but for them, they still want to know all the questions. So I, so I think really the main benefit for Nathan Stern's show is like these new people that are coming into it have somewhere to ask questions. You can just join the show and start chatting with us. So that's how it initially started. And at the beginning of the debates, it seemed like the Globus felt that they had the upper hand and they piled in in numbers. It was often me against nine other Globe heads. In the six or eight months, I forget how long I've been doing it now, it's, it's gone to the complete other end. And everything that we've done along that journey has been put up for debate. So we're not too concerned about being right or wrong, just finding the truth at the end. There's a whole number of people that have all been looking at this exact subject, and it's the how of the globe life. And according to their mathematics, you haven't taken a picture of flat Earth. You've actually confirmed that it's spherical. And you're like, what the hell's going on? I've seen this boat miles and miles and miles away, or this piece of land miles and miles away, and yet these assholes, <laughs> come, let's just not beat around the bush, come along and say that it proves it's curved. How the hell does this work? Well, we can tell you exactly how it works. What they have done in this calculation is excluded perspective. So to put this in a very succinct way, as you look at anything or take a picture of anything or video record anything, perspective rules. Things that are inherently large can look incredibly small if they're a very far distance away. And what their calculations do is only account for things in absolute sizes. So rather than calculating out an angle that you would see something at, they calculate it out based on its wiki size, its dictionary size, its Google size, which is the absolute size of whatever the target is. Not only that, by ignoring perspective, they ignore the fact that according to them, we have an enormous, because it's in the foreground, maybe a mile or two away, bulge that would block everything if they accounted for perspective, which is why they don't. So to round this out, how you can spot this is any observation that you take with the camera is obviously your first person view. And what they present you on any of these standard model based curve calculators, or as I like to call them, the uh, proof of nothing, begging the question, perspective omitting curve calculations. What you find is the diagram will be inside profile. So you will literally see the side of the head of the person taking the observation, which should immediately tell you that it's not from the point of view of the observer. And it's kept that way so that they can retain the actual sizes and engineer in curvature in place of perspective, which is completely omitted from the calculations. So when you see things in the distance getting smaller and seeming like they're obscured behind Earth curve, what you're actually seeing is the inverse square law in action, perspective. Objects in the distance becoming smaller or having an angular size reduction smaller to your perception. Well, this is the interesting thing. If you go to one of those curve calculators and plug in the numbers, it will tell you the Earth's a sphere. So, and the other thing that is, again, part of finding out how they've basically pulled this off is figuring out that you actually get the exact same measurement if you take the measurement and only account for perspective on a flat plane. So in other words, if you calculate in perspective, nothing else, you get the same exact effect of objects disappearing, what seems like behind a curve, and that's purely the effect of perspective. So it's you're right, people are deceived because they go to these calculations and they put in their numbers and it says it's a sphere and they think, well, we're doing everything correctly. But they don't realize how the trick's done. And that's what we're exposing. We're exposing how they draw a single line between target and observation rather than taking an angular measurement, which would require more than one line to target so you can get the top and bottom of it. By drawing a single line, they essentially negate perspective and they've turned perspective into Earth curvature. And once you know how that magic trick's done, it's game over. Do you think this was all started by somebody who was simply mistaken and they were, had confirmation bias and thought it was a globe because of the ships and all of that? Or it's straight up liars? Straight up liars. Yeah, liars. Mm.